Hi everyone. In this course, we are going to look at the Windows operating system and all its intervals to understand better how it works. So the goal of this course is to understand really well all the core concepts of the Windows kernel. We will see how to abuse the kernel, for instance, in order to exploit it. Everything we learn for the Windows operating system will actually be applicable for other operating systems as well. The first thing we are going to look at is various base concepts like processes, threads, sessions, objects, and how we call Windows API. Then we are going to look at how we can actually go from user land to kernel land, which is by calling syscalls. Then we are going to look at how the processes and thread structures are implemented into the kernel. Then we are going to look at what we call kernel pools, which is basically the heap implementation into the Windows kernel. And we're going to see what are the different kernel pools implemented into the kernel. Then we are going to look at different kernel bugs that you can find, such as memory corruption vulnerabilities, like use after freeze, type confusion bugs, overflows, or race conditions. Then we are going to look at different mitigations that have been added into the Windows kernel over time, such as avoiding that the new page is mapped, implementing mitigations like NX or ASLR to reduce the likelihood of vulnerability is being exploited, or others like SMET. And we are going to talk about some mitigation that are actually not implemented into the Windows kernel yet, such as SMAP. Then we are going to look at how access checks are implemented for processes. So these processes can only access what they are supposed to. Then we will look at how kernel exploit payloads are able to execute code in userland, either by migrating from kernel to userland or by doing what we call data only attacks, which is basically a way to patch things in memory in order to elevate a given process. So it executes with the system privileges. Okay, let's get started.